Oi, hello people, today we are in the kitchen. And yes, it's messy AF, but the point is not about that. So, I had an idea about making a video about what's in my camera bag 2020. What do you carry? What do I make content with? And what gear do I use? And there's one big problem. You can call me a cheapskate or uh, a broke ass, but I just realized I don't have an actual camera bag. So how can I make a video about the camera bag without having a camera bag? Yeah, but uh, let's let's check it out. So I don't actually have a camera bag. I have a big and all case. It's a, actually a pellet case, and around 80% of all my equipment goes in here to my everyday carry, you could say. It looks like a lot, but it actually isn't. That's around 90% of all the equipment I usually take to my shoots. Of course, depending on the task and other stuff. But this is my everyday carry when I have to film something. And let me show you what it is inside of this pelicans. Pelican case, case, case. Uh, I have my lenses, I have my microphone, my camera, my most important things. The tripod is usually traveling on the side of my backpack and my knockoff glad cam usually also is traveling on my side. So let's break it down, shall we? So the most important thing in my whole case is of course my main camera and it's Sony A6300, I believe. Yes, it is and it's a small ass camera. It has an APS-C sensor and it's amazing. I had it for around one year and I'm aware of its limitations, but it has an amazing 4K and it's really small and versatile. It has all the cine profiles to get the more dynamic range out of your videos and I have been never disappointed by this camera. The only one bad thing is it fucking overheats all the time if you're using 4K and it's really hot as it is right now it's going to overheat but other than that it's been an amazing camera and uh, all my videos are shot on it it has a great low light performance and i couldn't be happier to have this camera and with this camera i have two lenses a wide angle one and a, and a small telephoto so the first lens is sigma 16 millimeter f 1.4 which becomes a 24 millimeter with my aps-c sensor as you can see, it has a big front element. I always use it for vlogging. It really has been a good lens and a really, really good investment. It's been a naughty bad boy and uh, I got great content with this lens. I highly recommend this lens and if you're ever gonna buy it, just do it. For how fast it is, it's also extremely sharp. Of course, if you are using at its fastest aperture 1.4, it's going to get a little bit softer and there might be some chromatic aberrations uh, on the far sides. But, but for what it is, it makes the job done. And as you notice, I only have prime lenses. That's because I do actually believe prime lenses uh, forces you to think more about your composition and the way you set up your shots. Because instead of just sitting and being able to zoom, you have to move around, you have to think out of the box to how to use a prime lens because they have a set focal length. And also they have amazing sharpness and I was on a tight budget, <clears throat> yeah, broke filmmaker. And uh, I love these two. So uh, one of the other important things in my setup is my second camera or can be. It's actually the first real camera I ever used and sometimes I still use it, but, but not that much. It's a Sony RX10, and if I need a quick point and shoot camera, it does the job. It has a long ass zoom to a thing around 200 millimeters equivalent, and it also has a wide ass angle. Here you can see how the, the, the camera we're filming on right now looks like. Oh yeah. I still sometimes use it, but for the most part, I don't take it into the most shoots because I don't need it, but it's still part of the equipment. Usually when I need the, the extra, the extra, how's it called? The extra vision, the extra, extra footage, or quick point and shoot stuffy stuffy. Yeah, it's quite old. The technology is not up to date, and it also doesn't have any cine or flat profiles. And you can see the quality is uh, really, really. I mean, I don't know if it's exposed correctly, but it's, it's not as good as this bad boy. The other thing I always carry around is, of course, a gorilla pod. After some time of using it, I yeah it did become not as stable as it was and it's really easy to bend it but I still use it when I don't need a full-size tripod where I can just make a quick setup so it does the job completely fine honestly it served its purpose really well when you stabilize my shots long as time ago I bought the stabilizer it's basically uh, a company called newer and it's a knockoff of a glad cam it's really cheap 
I bought it when I was starting out and it just did the job perfectly and it always held up to the standards I needed and uh, honestly I never needed anything more expensive and bigger and really did the job and I do carry this almost to every single shoot because if I need something stabilized I can always pull this out of my backpack and be like yeah it's stable yeah and here of course we have the, the case in itself in the case, I always have my microphone. It's a, a Rode Video Micro. Cheap little fella, it also did the job. I'm happy for it. It, it was quite cheap. And uh, one of the best budget microphones you could get. It's super cheap and uh, it works. And I didn't really have any big problems with it. So I'm really happy for it. And uh, yeah, what's next? I'll always carry some random shit in case I need to fix something or do anything or you could say mount anything to anything, if it makes sense. Um, I always have some rubber bands lying around in my bag. Uh, these things have saved my life multiple times. It's like metal rubbery straps that you can bend again and again and they keep... Uh, you can always reform them to the same normal, uh, you could say, place. And when you need to clamp something down and put your camera in really weird ass angles, you can use these to just, just take the camera and, you know, and uh, strap it to something. They're really cheap, I guess. I bet, but uh, it's really an amazing tool to have with you and they don't take up that much space at all. The other, the other thing I always carry around is a makeup bag. Yes, I'm not gay. I'm not gay, but yes, I do have a makeup bag because it's just so convenient to have all your small stuff just laying in one bag. Um, I just found it and uh, I use it. So what's in this bag? I always have a few pens and pencils. Uh, right now it's always pens. Uh, because I like to write my things down or some quick make some quick sketches or just write some random ideas down probably gonna be a quite of a cliche but yes I do have a, a notebook where I make some amazing drawings but for the most part I, I write down my ideas or try to plan out a video and uh, yeah just cheap one I have and it's awesome what else do you want I have a lot of cables 3.5 millimeter jack cable because I lose them all the time so I have a couple of them one more just a longer version of it if I need to put my microphone closer to a person or something like that no I step down ring for my telephoto lens so I can put my ND filter on uh, on it and uh, yeah more cables I always also carry some stuff to clean my camera it's a it's a cleaning swap I usually also have my uh, like a liquid for sensors to clean these with, but uh, I don't have it right, right now. A mounting plate for my glad cam knockoff thing, ling, 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 ling. Also, I always carry some uh, small zip locks. They are lifesavers. Again, if you need to strap something down. Yeah, no gay jokes in the comment section. A small portable micro SD charger. Usually I have a power bank, but I lost it in a Durham, uh, Durham review episode, so I'm sad. This is one of my favorite lenses ever, as I'm using two lens setup. This is, I believe, Sigma 55mm f1.4 and on my APS-C camera it becomes an 85 or 86mm, I believe. And it's an extremely sharp lens. I've used it all the time. It's a great photography lens and a great B-roll lens when you need to get more closer to the subject and get some crispy, crispy bokeh. Who doesn't like crispy bokeh? I don't know. If you don't like crispy bokeh, you're a weird ass. Very important accessory of mine is of course my battery grip for my camera. I bought it because the camera is really, really small and I have big hands and it's really hard to get a good grip. And it can also extend the camera life as it takes two batteries. So it makes it so much comfortable to hold the camera as well as make it more stable because you have more surface area to grab on and just being able to really wrap your hands around it and get some smooth shots so it's a warp purchase it is oh and also with this uh, grip when i'm taking photography pictures i have this cable which connects to the the slot right here and goes into a micro usb port and it allows me to use this vertical button right here which can make sometimes great use when I'm taking portraits or something like that. This tripod my camera sits on right now and it's a really, really, really cheap tripod that I bought for like 100 crowns when I was just starting out and I've been using it for like at least two years and it held up completely 
fine. I would like to get the one with the fluid head, but uh, uh, actually broke the mechanism that allows you to take a tripod higher up. It's still fine. Wait, wait, I almost forgot the most important part. I was already filming B-rolls. Memory cards. Um, my main memory card is SanDisk 128 GB card, which I store most of my footage on right here, if it focuses. And I have a backup card, which is really bad but just in case anything happens i have a slow card which at least hopefully can get any footage which is better than nothing and my other backup is just this card which takes uh, these little small cards i don't know how to call it i think it's micro cards which you have in your phone so just just in case also have these ones um so back to the normal video because i totally forgot about it another really important thing in my case is my ND filter which I use all the time. I don't remember the company it says it's a variable ND as you can see right here and uh, that's about all the gear I use so let's pack everything nicely in here. So it's a quick overview of what I use and we're gonna see how it changes in the future. The most important thing is not about the gear